Hey guys, welcome back to Porch Chats. Today we thought it would be fun to give you a little bit of like a parenting update, a pregnancy update, pregnancy update because we really haven't talked a ton about my pregnancy really mm-hmm. since, I guess, since I got pregnant. <laughs> That's what <laughs> I don't we really, really know. Just haven't talked about our, this I didn't know. I honestly didn't really long. know where I was going with that. But yeah, we really haven't talked about well, it a ton. And when this comes out, like we're put, we're, I mean, we're making the few first few a little bit ahead of time. So yeah. there's a we chance. We are no, oh. there's not a chance. We're done. no, no. But you're nine months pregnant at this point. Yeah. And that. Yeah. Yeah. True. So uh, I'll start so that you can have a little bit of a some help. Not that you need help, but just to get it rolling. Um. This is baby number two. How do you feel going into having to, but like to add a new one, but also how has pregnancy been with a ba- a toddler now? I'm gonna like try to keep this brief. Yeah, keep <laughs> it's it brief a little for us, babe. <laughs> Don't go rambling or anything. I won't go shooting the breeze. <laughs> I wouldn't wanna. <laughs> okay. What? What is even going on? Taylor is feeling crazy. Um, yeah. So honestly, going into having two, <laughs> um, I <laughs> why are you laughing? You're so goofy. Um, it's definitely been a different experience. It's funny because in some ways, I think there's moments that have been easier because having the distraction of Wes is definitely been helpful, but also. There's kind of like two folds of that. <laughs> like it also has been harder in some moments because yeah. there's just been some days where I feel just how I felt like when I was pregnant with Wes and I was throwing up like four times a day and I can't go rest. You know, I can't go lay down like unless Wes is napping. Yeah. Um, so that element of it has been definitely challenging. Um, and I think too, it's interesting, but I feel like last time I didn't make the connection of like, why even mentally I was struggling in certain moments. I, I feel like it kind of hit you a little bit more yeah. blind, like you were more blind. Yeah, so. and I think I just didn't really, well, and I mean, you guys know, we got married, we got pregnant, and praise the Lord, like totally what he had, a gift from God, just, yeah, so great. But it also, was a lot. it yeah. was also just a lot, yeah, like our transition of, okay, boom, we're married, boom, I'm pregnant, Okay, now I'm sick. (laughs) Okay, boom, we're married. Boom, we're pregnant. (laughs) Boom, I'm sick. (laughs) But that's how, that's honestly how it felt. Our life has been recently. It's been boom, boom, boom. It's been like boom, boom, boom. boom. Like maybe if I had one word to describe our life, I would just say boom. boom. (laughs) (laughs) How would you describe your life, babe? Boom. 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 What can I say? Well, honestly, in some ways, they're like, that is genuinely just how it felt. Like, I felt like I could not. Yeah. Like, it was kind of like I was like trying to like run to get on something that was moving. It was like you're on a treadmill, but like it was going way too fast. And I just couldn't quite get up on it. Yeah. <laughs> and so where's the boom in that situation though? When I fell when you're trying <laughs> to get on. <laughs> no, but seriously. Like and the Lord was so gracious in all of those transitions. But that time I think I just had so much just like coming at me. Like there were so many changes that I was just kind of like reacting to. I feel like a little bit and there were so many good moments, but also I feel like I wasn't able to completely process all of the things I was feeling, all of the change, completely understand like even my body and how to best like kind of help myself mentally in that time, even like just like how to talk about it. And I feel like this time that has been a like, significant change like even though being sick has been really hard and really challenging the Lord has been really gracious to like help me keep my emotions in check even and just like help me yeah just help me filter through like yes I'm sick yes this is really hard but like there isn't an insight to this you've and now too it's so different like having had my first because I see the like oh my goodness like the hard moments cannot compare to the joy (laughs) that yeah. Is coming. Like truly. Absolutely. Like And the first time and you I didn't felt know, that a lot. You were like, Oh, this is horrible. And like I'm sure Oh, well, and I knew it but would be wonderful, know. but now it's like there's nothing like <coughs> even when you're waiting and anticipating to become a parent, like you don't truly know that joy until it. it's there. You, you know? know? Yeah. 
and because there's just no way to know because you haven't experienced it yet. So it's definitely been it's I, been I a game like changer. It's been similar, like pregnancy experiences, just been how it's felt. Yeah, handled it better, in my opinion. I I think you because the first time, like you said, it was boom, boom, boom. You weren't super prepared, but also you nobody can be prepared for a pregnant being pregnant. Well, and I even think about like for you and for our relationship, like oh, I wasn't obviously prepared. like. I didn't know what to Marcus do. was experiencing all of like what I was feeling and how like I was reacting yeah. for the first time too and he didn't know or like even feel like prepared to know how to serve me in those things. Yeah. You did a really great job. I was still in <laughs> school. I, know, I haven't thought about that's that true. until recently, but but recently I've I I kind of like, forget you were in school. Lord, I'm not in school because that was not fun. No, we just had it was a lot. It really was. Boom, boom, it was, boom. it was, it, really was. it was truly. Okay. But um, going into having to, how do you feel about it? Cause I, yeah. sorry, not to cut you off. No, your it's okay. I Go feel ahead. excited about it, but I feel like even we were, we were last night at life group, we were holding a, a newborn baby that some of our friends just had. And I was like, I, I know what this is like, like I can do this. The first time he I looks was so like cute holding that baby. Oh. It well, it w- and it was it was actually really sweet to see you just like, because they're like, "Do you want to hold her?" And he was like, "Yeah," and just like For, really confidently I never held another baby uh, or changed another diaper. But he I just, a baby. Yeah, he did. I, but I, I think never you had changed a baby. the diaper. And this That's time, true. <laughs> I was like, "I got this." Like Milo's, which coming is so sweet. Pumped. Yeah, and I know what to yeah. expect a little bit. I mean, obviously yeah. there's curveballs, but how do you feel going into it though? That's how I feel. I want to hear more about how you feel too. You don't don't feel like you no, have I'm to just stop. Asking you though. You're sweet. Um, I think, yeah. In some ways, it's funny to say like I feel a little bit more prepared. But I think on the practical end, I feel a little bit more just like kind of the same with pregnancy. Like I have like reasonable expectations and a reasonable mindset. And but even like right. I'm still really like hopeful and there's even things I'm like hoping for for like my birth and I am asking the Lord to do just in that process and yeah. things that I'm really praying that I would even have grace for myself in like in the transitional time because just like knowing how postpartum recovery is a little bit more this time and mm-hmm. also kind of giving myself additional grace even in that area and like even what I expect my body to do because I have had. I will have had two babies in right. two years. Um, so, yeah, I think that's definitely an area I feel a little bit more prepared for just, like, just spiritually, honestly. Like, I feel spiritually more prepared for the things that I know are going to be challenging, but realizing that I have the tools and I have everything I need in the Lord yeah. as my comfort and yeah. also in you as my husband, like, just really relying on those things and not feeling any like shame in that because they're like, it's difficult. It's difficult to be pregnant. It's difficult to walk through birth. It's difficult to recover postpartum. And it's also this time, you know, going into having two, like, I think I feel, and we talked like, this is just me being completely honest. We talked about it in the car last night on the way to life group. Um, just the reality of like Weston has been like completely like, He's completely changed, honestly, even in the last, like, week. Yes, like, he has. he has gone from, like, he took his first few steps, like, before his birthday. Yep. And then by his birthday, he was, like, walking pretty well. <laughs> which running. was only, like... He's running now, And though. now he is literally running around. Like, yeah. we went from, like, full-on, like, pretty much what felt like baby to, like, toddler and, like, under... Running, week. talking. Yeah. Doing, doing like, and, yeah. toddler stuff. And it's so different. And even, like... And feeling, too, the, like, this is a good burden, but, like, the burden of, like, okay, like. Spiritual burden. Yeah, like, the spiritual burden of, like, okay, we're, like, going into, like, shepherding Mm -hmm. his soul and his heart and his actions and decisions and not just, like, keeping him alive, like, in the most basic way, (laughs) which sounds really funny, but there is a way in which, like, the first year is just, like, it's really, it's still, like, sweet, and obviously, like, we've, like, even prayed with him or worship songs with him but there's just a way in which now that like 
he's like this little sponge. He's truly starting to be. So like how this are we going to shepherd that? So like yeah. How are, yeah. How are we going to handle that? And we are his first example of the love of Christ. Absolutely. And that is a huge deal. And I know, guys, I know he's just one. But <laughs> there is also things where it's like, it's crazy the things that yeah. he understands, you know, and the way that God has made him. And, and it anyways. It changes just your mindset that. a lot. <laughs> yeah. When, like, last night, holding a little baby, she doesn't even know I'm there. You know, she's like, whatever. Like a little baby, right? And then I get in the car and I say, hey, Weston, what sound does a sheep make? And he goes, bah. <laughs> like, he knows what's going on. You know, like, that's, that there's changes There's parts a lot. of him that definitely do, yeah. You know, and Which is wild. He's, he says no to you. Like, that's that changes. Like, you're like, oh, like, you, we have to, we're responsible as parents to, like, help him become a good adult. You know, like, one day, obviously. But, like. Well, and I think, like, with yeah. that, holding it like holding it rightly because it can become this thing where like with anything else where we can kind of just like feel the pressure and feel the intensity of it, but not like release and also trust the Lord with those things and realize that like he is in that process. He's entrusted Wes to us. Mm -hmm. We have a long way to go. So does Wes and like praise God that he won't be finished with us. But there is, there's a unique way. I think for me going back to your question about having two, like there's a unique like shift that's happened where I'm like, okay, we're not going to have like two babies. We're going to have like a toddler and a baby and, an, and, a, baby and a really new fresh baby. And like, right. I think for me, I can just feel a little bit overwhelmed by like the practical things. Like I was telling him last night, I was like, how in the world am I supposed to like do a full like feed with Milo yeah, and like, and keep then. Weston from like getting into everything, you know, right. like practical things that, that are going to be okay. But I think, even though they sound little, even like right now, I'm like, we're on like, we have to go up steps right. to our apartment. And yeah. I'm like, how, how am I supposed to get my newborn we'll figure it out. out of the car, up the steps and get my toddler up the steps? And he's like the shortest person ever. So he, how is he going to do the steps? He can't Weston. even like, yes, he can't he's even. He's the shortest person <laughs> ever. He is. He is. Did you just short don't. shame your one year old? I love it. He's so he's so short. A he's in the tenth percentile for height, and he's in the ninetieth percentile for weight, which is the best. He's such a little chunk, but it is funny. Like I'm genuinely, I'm like, how am I gonna get? Yeah. Anyways, he'll figure it out. I was five two. I'm five four on my. Marcus was four. Lessons. Marcus was so. four foot when we met, so he's come no, a long way. I was not. Oh my god! In my head, you would totally be four right, foot. That's ridiculous. When we met, let's bring it home a little but, bit. I think. Oh, bring it on home, baby. Well, I want to connect what you said in the fr- about the last pregnancy to this one with transitioning in this next season too with b- having a toddler. Praise the Lord that first pregnancy we ta- we were learn we were taught so much. We learned so much and now we're better equipped for this next pregnancy or like this next birth. It's totally the graciousness of the Lord in every way. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Praise the Lord that we that the Lord is equipping us and I- enabling us and 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 taking care of us to where we can feel confident in him that about this next you know pregnancy or birth um and yeah. just and the and knowing too like i think the ultimate thing and we talked about in a previous episode just about like where our treasure is like yeah i know it sounds like kind of disconnected but there is like it's connected to everything like we know our ultimate hope and our ultimate security is in the Lord and yeah. not even the shifting of like just seasons and change in our life. And even in the practical things, like we know that the Lord will give us the strength and the capacity Absolutely. because that's what he's called us to. And I, I get that question a lot. Like, how do you feel about like having to, and which is such a valid question. And I'm like, you know what? I feel completely overwhelmed and inadequate and excited, but I also know that, because of the Lord in me, I am capable <laughs> because he's going to give me everything I need. Praise and that's all I have to know. I don't have to know how every single thing is going to work out. And that's what I have to tell myself when I can get really overwhelmed about like, okay, we're going to have two, two under two. And that's, yeah. that's a lot. And it is, it's weighty and it's sweet and it's a joy, but it is overwhelming for sure. Yeah. Well, take encouragement today that the Lord is and will equip you to the things that he does call you to. 
and we've said that a lot i feel like over the course of since we started the podcast but it is true like it's something that we take encouragement from so yeah hopefully we can hand that encouragement to you yeah your adequacy and the way that the lord equips you will always be through the gospel and through himself not through something that you have but through everything that he is so rely on that today because that's what we all need to get through whatever season we're in friendship parenting yes marriage give me anything college yeah doesn't matter what it is anyway we love you guys thank you so much for listening to this episode we will see you guys tomorrow sorry oh yeah am i cutting you off no it's okay i was going like this because i was about to say something else but (laughs) i was like and (laughs) and see oh (laughs) follow the instagram and youtube uh and if you give us a five star rating on spotify then we will what do we do then we will give you a five star (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> then we'll give. W- then we will verbally on the next podcast go give you five, five stars, stars <laughs> to you. Okay. All right. We Bye love you guys. guys. See you tomorrow. Love you.